intern intern good morning good morning good morning and welcome back to the beautiful beautiful coral reef park and look at this look at this i'm so excited because we have this gentleman right here who is actually checking out and watching the show i think he's a little bit concerned that i am like staring at him so much oh wait 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 why are you shaking your head sir why are you shaking your head is the show not entertaining let's see what his thoughts are Okay, the tricks are pretty good. The show is starting. The purple queens are getting pregnant. No! All right, intern, really quickly, we're gonna come over. Every single pregnant purple queen we can find is going to find a new home. We don't need, we don't need pregnant purple queens. Oh my goodness, there's too many of the purple queens. That's definitely one of our major problems here in this beautiful zoo. We're in Marine Park, as I should call it. And our other problem is that things seem to be slowing down a little bit, probably because of all the water that we have, but we're just gonna have to cope with it as we can. But I hope you are having a wonderful day today, intern, and I am very excited. Not only is the show going, which is exciting in its own right, but we have some pregnant otters. Oh, and there's Sedone, let's see. Is she the one expecting babies? She is expecting a baby, look at that. So Sedone is expecting a baby. And then we have Southern Sea Otter number two. And she is not expecting a baby. Does she have a mate yet? She does have a mate. Her mate is Tide. So we're gonna name her, um, let's go with Penny. Let's go with Penny, Tide and Penny. And they are mates. Oh, another pregnant purple queen. No, you don't. No, you don't. Pregnant purple queens everywhere. Stop that. Stop that. We just need to get rid of like all of the purple queens in turn. It, it's a chaotic mess. And we need to adopt out some more of these birds. It's amazing at how because the zoo is a beautiful organic place full of living creatures, things get a little bit kooky the longer we're here. So it's kind of interesting to see which animals start breeding out of control and which ones we can't get to breed at all. And we'll do our best, like our otters right now. I'm very, very excited that our otters are breeding. Let's see, and is everybody down here getting enough to eat? Oh, and hockey is really, oh, no, you don't, purple queen. All right, oh my gosh, just too many purple queens. They're trying to lay eggs now, no. We're just gonna keep on top of it this time. And Hockey, who is one of our baby sea turtles, is still feeling pretty under the weather. So we're trying to keep an eye on him, but he's off to eat. So let's get our snorkeling gear on in turn. And dang it, Purple Queen, oh my gosh, you are kidding me. You are kidding me. This is just, this is just Nutter Butters. Nutter Butters in turn. Let's, ugh. I can't believe we have to do this again, but we just cannot handle all these pregnant Purple Queens. This is like, Fish overload, there shouldn't be this many fish. Oh my gosh, and the eaters, there's one that's stuck back here. We're gonna send him to another zoo, so he'll be a little bit more comfortable. Oh, I'm gonna be pretty excited because next week we are actually going to be going back and checking in on some of the other zones that we have. Oh, look at that. So this is one of the pregnant sea otters. Her mate is sea otter number four, so we're gonna name her, let's see, we have Penny and Sedone. And let's go ahead and name her um, Anna. So Anna, Penny, and Sedone. And then Southern Sea Otter number four, who is Anna's mate. We're gonna name Alfred, because that just sounds like an adorable name. There we go. So we've got two pregnant sea otters who might be having babies soon. The pelican recently laid eggs last time, which was very exciting. And the purple queens. Here we are. Here are these troublemakers. All of these troublemakers, look at all of them. There's so many, ah, there's one who's about to lay an egg. Not on my watch. There's another one, not on my watch. Where are any of the males? Aha, there's another one. We're gonna stop this, all right. See, it's because the eggs keep hatching and they keep releasing the males, which is definitely not something that we want to happen. Now the good news in turn is that there has been a lot of gift shop purchases and there's been a few sales of some of our rare creatures going on uh, to other zoos and institutions. So we have a lot of money and today, look at all those eggs. All those eggs just waiting to hatch. Oh my gosh, way too many purple queens. <gasps> and look at our spotted eagle rays. We are about to have, oh my goodness, let's jump in here. Let's get them some treats because this is about to be like spotted eagle, spotted eagle ray baby shower. This is amazing. All right, we're gonna put in like some clam blocks, ice blocks with clams to let them enjoy because holy days, there's gonna be so many babies in here in just a minute. Let's see, let's dive in. So let's put on our snorkeling gear, dive on in. 
Hello everyone! Hi guys! Swimming with our eagle rays. Hi! I hope you enjoy the little clam box with ice. They are gifts for you. Since so many of you are about to have babies, I can't believe how many of you are, are on the way to having your own young. Oh, that's gonna make the eagle ray exhibit so exciting. And there's the blue tangs swimming around. It's nice, the fish are a very nice touch when they don't uh, breed out of control. There's Reef Manta 1. And the rays seem to be pretty happy lately. They don't really have a lot of complaints. They don't really have a lot of problems. Their water stays pretty clean. Whoops, sorry about that spotted eagle ray. All right, let me see. Do we need to clean their water again? Checking on it, their water seems to be pretty A-OK. -okay. Oh, and they're so pretty. So we're gonna have spotted eagle ray baby shower any second now. Who is about to have babies? Not this gentleman right here. What about his mate? She is about to have babies. The striped big fish are having babies, but they don't breed nearly as quickly as the purple queens do, so that should be fine. Oh my goodness, so there's lots and lots of things going on right now. That makes me excited. And what I wanted to do today was actually work on expanding our otter area. So our otters have this nice little training area and they've got this little, little um, like aquatic area. But I was thinking it would be very nice if we could kind of extend this zone a bit and maybe even add in, oh, guests can't find donation boxes, lies, they're everywhere. And maybe even go ahead and add in some more land-based creatures. So I was going to ask you in turn what you think we should add onto the land next to our coastal area. So these are our northern sea otters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are our northern sea otters. Sit down. Which type of sea otter are you exactly again? Southern sea otters, excuse me. So these are southern sea otters. We've got some pelicans. I'm trying to think of some more creatures. Like we could add in turtles, but the sea otters might eat the turtles. They do do that. Um, but some more creatures that we might add in over here, like expand, extend this area quite a bit and just turn it into maybe a little bit more of a park thing. So these might not be marine based animals that we add in because we've got a lot of different creatures who could go over there. European otters. Um, let's see, there's a parrot fish, there's the pelican. There's a whole bunch of fish that would be absolutely perfect for this zone. There's the European porcupine. Let's see. Let's see, but I'm thinking something, maybe another bird. There's ravens, there's rays. I was thinking of making little tide pools, maybe with various types of fish. So that might be an idea. Um, or just something kind of land-based. I really wouldn't mind having, it would almost be hilarious to have a rea. What would we do with you? It would be totally the wrong-ish section to put it in though. Um, you know, something that could maybe go up along the coast. Maybe a seal. I wonder. I wonder if the seals and the otters would get along okay. Rocky coast. Brown fur seal. There's an idea, actually. I think that adding a few seals over here might be a very nice touch. Oh my gosh, sea lampreys. No way. And the sea snakes. We do need to make some sne sea snakes exhibits. Uh, sea snake exhibits. There we go. In the future. So maybe seals in here? Not sure if they and the otters would get along. So just trying to think up something. We might not even connect the exhibits. Maybe we'll just have another exhibit that we could add on over here. So just trying to think of things that we could put over here for the otters to share a zone with. And also some things over here. And actually that's the project I wanted to work on today. Now I remember. Is making a very big, very fantastic new tank that we are going to put in one of the main stars of the show, one of the main creatures that people want to see when they come to a to a marine park, they want to see the really big sharks. So we're going to give them a really big shark, one of the most popular big sharks. We are going to build a great white exhibit right over here. So that's one of our big goals. And I think we'll work on that a little bit today. We'll see if we can finish it up in turn. Because I also want to build uh, some of the smaller exhibits too. Like see how we have the jellyfish exhibit right here? I was thinking it would be nice to maybe have some sea snake exhibit kind of come up along this side or maybe have some of the other jellyfish exhibits come up along this side. Uh, maybe the moray eels. In fact, let's do the eel exhibit over here. That's actually a really fun idea. So let's go ahead and remove this part of the aquatic. There we go. 
of the little tank. And I actually really, really like that idea of trying to do it so that we have just like a little spot where you can see the eels. Um, and we can just, yeah, there we go. Make it a little bit bigger. And then this whole section right here is going to be where we will put the moray eels. And I think that will be a really fun exhibit. So let's see. We need to put the right kind of water in there, intern. So let's go ahead. We're just going to throw... I know this seems weird, but we're going to put polar ice water in there because we can actually see what's going on. And it won't affect the animals. Don't worry. They'll be totally fine. And let's go ahead and get the path kind of spread down a little bit. We might... I think that they should be able to walk around the little splash fountain. So that should be fine. There we go. Old Atlantean path. A little bit of that. A little bit of that there. And let's come over here. There we are. And now we're going to try to figure out how we can add in the moray eel. Oh dear. Maybe I should be cleaning up the beak fish as well because Stripe Beak Fish 100 is now pregnant. Hmm. And we'll check in on hockey in just a moment. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Dang it! Why? What is going on here? Why are all of our guests trapped? Why won't they tell me? more about when they are they're horribly horribly trapped in these giant pits in the ground oh that's terrible that's just terrible and there's like oh my gosh oh my goodness i don't even know what's going on over here anymore oh that was what was going on okay this is good they're gonna be fine i'm so sorry everybody i didn't notice that sinkholes had opened up in the ground again and then let's actually mark off the area where we're going to put the great whites so, as we've added more and more and more to our zoo, things have kind of started to slow down and ebb down a little bit because there's so much water. So we have to think about that very carefully when we think about future builds we're going to do. All right, let's come here. There, so that's going to be the great white tank. And, well, we could probably, let's just go ahead, we'll close it off this away for now going to suck for our maintenance people who are going to be kind of like trapped in the back for forever but it'll work out all right and there we go there we go so that's going to be where we put the great whites and we might make this area bigger in the future but we'll also have it kind of oh look at the kid playing in the splash fountain i love it when they play in the splash fountains the zoo rides are awesome oh they considered the zoo ride like a little splash fountain that's so cute all right and then we're going to go ahead and we will curve this area off. Maybe not quite that far. Come here. There we go. But we'll close this area off so that guests uh, are in the nice contained zone. There we go. That's going to look really nice. And I wonder if we have all the babies yet from the little baby shower of eels that we're going to have soon. Striped beak fish, for crying out loud, you're going to be my new purple queen problem, aren't you? Always, always, always be so careful about the purple queens in turn. If you have learned nothing else from me, I hope you will you will have learned that. All right, and let's go ahead. And whoops, we're going to put down the old Atlantean path. It's kind of dark in here too, in turn. I think we should add in some of the really cool underwater lamps so that our guests are not too left in the dark. There we go. And there's that. And we're going to come over here and there we go. All right. In fact, we'll go ahead and fill that in. There we go. And come over on this side. Wonderful. Much better. Much better. And we need to take the path down a little bit. Um, We'll leave that like that, I guess. We'll see. Just kind of gently, gently let it rise up. There we go. All right, so the, here's where the guests are going to be coming over to view the great white sharks and to view our eels. So let's go ahead and add in some more benches. Maybe some of the underwater benches since we've made this area such an enclosed zone. I think they'd appreciate the underwater benches. Do, 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 do. All right, let's find the benches, underwater benches. Let's see, seating, there we go. Underwater benches, they're very pretty, aren't they? All right, do this and this. 
and maybe a few pieces back here and maybe some seating over here for people who are going to be like staying away from the splash fountain probably don't need quite so many benches so we'll take that one out and then we need a donation box down here so if anyone wants to donate to the sharks they can do so right here or to the eels i wonder if we'll put it yeah we'll go ahead we don't want to discourage people if they want to be kind enough to donate and then let's see any little decorative pieces like a little fountain that we might put right in the center there or something along those lines there's the underwater canopy oh there's the underwater statue that's true there's a big giant underwater statue there's the bonsai maple uh there's this interesting statue it's pretty cool looking kind of looks like it almost looks like something you'd find on a ship oh there we go this is like a little otter play statue, otter marine play statue. We'll put that in here. That looks wonderful. There, I like it, I like it. And now let us find out what our moray eels would need. So I really wanna add in, there's the sea snakes. Well, the sea snakes would be cool. I think people would freak out quite a bit more about sea snakes versus eels. So let's see if we can find sea gibbons. Maybe the European eel, the speckled longfin eel. I know I saw some moray eels somewhere, so I just need to find out where they're hiding. Hmm. Let's see, There's this is a good chance to look over all of the different fish that we could add in too. There's so many different fish in turn. So many different fish. All these little jellyfish, which would be really fun. Some of them are huge, like the crown. Uh, the uh, lion, what's, what's it called again? Lion's mane, jellyfish, uh, the cannonball jellyfish I don't think is as big as I'm thinking. I think the lion's mane can get gigantic. I think the lion's mane is the one I'm thinking of that gets really, really big. Let's see, the lion head goldfish was back there. I know, I know, there's more eels! Here they go, green moray eel. So this is the little one I want to add on in, and this should be very exciting. So it does eat, it does need a few little rocks. It likes its little coastal design to everything. Let's raise up the floor. Hopefully this will be enough room for it. If not, we can always just knock this down and kind of let the two areas intermingle. But let's go ahead. I want to raise up the ground quite a bit. Not entirely, but quite a bit. And then we'll kind of decorate down here. Make it nice and attractive for all of our guests to be able to admire all of the little, the little, you know, little feather stars and the little plates of coral that they can see. Oh, little, oh, these are popular. Giant barrel sponges. Um, you know, some of the fire coral pieces. The bigger sea whips. There we go. A little table coral. Quite popular. You know, mix in some of the plate coral. So it kind of helps all blend together. Another one of these big giant clam guys because they're really cool and rotate rotate there we go and then let's see what else we can add in here maybe a few the kids get so excited about seeing the sea stars up along the back so we'll add some of these there we go there we go up along the back like so i like it i like it okay and let's go ahead add in more of this coral very nice very nice you never know what will look good in here Ooh. Ooh, like that. That looks really good. So it's just a nice little coral reef for... There we go. Nice little coral reef specifically for our moray eels. So let's see what else we can add in for them. Um, they would like some fish for their entertainment enrichment items. I'll add in a couple herrings so that they can chase the herrings around. They also need some food. So what we could do is put a bunch of shellfish down here at the bottom and I think they should be able to reach those shellfish but if not we will find a way like we can put down this artificial reef with fish in it in a couple spots and there that not only is decorative but it gives the moray eels somewhere to go something to go for all right anything else that should be good okay and hmm, putting a filter on this isn't quite possible so we'll keep an eye on it we'll keep an eye on uh if we need to tidy this up or not i wish there was an easier way to like let our cleaners get in here i guess we're just gonna have to put it right there all right 
And let's put in a couple more eels. So, one, two, and two females, maybe one male, and we'll just see what happens. Do, 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 do. And there we go. All right, intern, so let's check out what's going on with our moray eels. Also, what's happening? Uh, oh yeah, these guys are still complaining. Well, I will fix the jellyfish, don't worry. Jellyfish aren't supposed to be hungry, so that shouldn't happen. All right, there's the herrings, and there's the eels! Look at them go! We need some lights in here! I can hardly see them. So let's go ahead and get one of the tank lights in here. Ah, much better, much better. There we go, that lined him up quite a bit. Hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome home. Welcome to your new home. This is gonna be fantastic. All the guests will be able to admire our little green moray eels. Very happy about this. There, oh, look at him go for the food. There you go. All right, so we've groomed all three of them now and checked them out, and hopefully they will attract some guests. So that is the next goal, is letting them just kind of bring some guests that will wander over to this way and then next time we will work on adding in the great white sharks into this zone and probably a lot of fish and some other things to come and hang out with it and pretty soon in turn we are going to be moving from our beautiful marine park and we're going to be checking in on some of the other sections of our zoo because don't forget world zoo is composed of multiple different small zoos all compiled together so that we can touch on different environments in the world from all over the place in different zones. So we'll go be visiting some of the other zones. I'm really feeling like it's about time to add lions into our savanna zone, for example. So I'm pretty excited about that. We've got some flying spotted eagle rays. Have they all had their babies yet? Let's check if they've had their babies. Because <laughs> I was not expecting to have that many spotted eagle rays pregnant at once. That was pretty awesome. All right, let's see, purple queens. Still working on getting the purple queens. Nurse sharks doing quite well. And the spotted eagle rays. All right, let's actually hang out for just a moment because I think that a good chunk of them are about to have their babies. Submerging. Okay, we can keep an eye on them. Are we gonna have a little spotted eagle ray baby? Baby bash pretty soon? Or is it gonna take a long, long time? I wonder how long, I actually don't know off the top of my head how long rays uh, gestate for, like how long they're pregnant for. And I actually don't know off the, I think they give live birth, but I, I'm not sure. Do they lay eggs or give live birth? See, I don't even know that about the eagle rays, so this will be really interesting to learn. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure live birth, but I can't be 100% sure. So, goodness, and actually I think that the pregnancies on these guys take a little while. So I'll keep an eye on them, and when we come back, in turn, we will have a lot of little eagle ray babies! A lot of little eagle ray babies to enjoy. So, I will see you bright and early in the morning, in turn. I hope you're going to be excited and ready, because we will be adding in the great white shark and wrapping up our tour of the marine park here. We've done wonderfully. It's five stars. It's earning lots of money. Now we can go and take care of some of our other zones coming up. So I will see you back here next time for our last round before we move on to a new zone, but then we'll come back here in the future, so don't worry. And I'll see you next time in turn. Bye-bye.